that's a nice little tech switch there by Yellow, though. He might be able to wreak a lot of damage with this, so this could be the, the, the switch in momentum that he really needed. Oh, and a Radiate, though. He's got to get it out of there. Get out, get out, get out. Okay, he does manage to get that uh, that out of there, but if he can do it, and you can see the panic on Boxer's face, this is something that Yellow needed. If he can t if he can just empty this of SCVs, empty uh, that third expansion of SCVs, and empty that upper left-hand corner, Boxer could end up in just a devastating economic position. He's kind of, might be a little bit supply locked as well, and the mass of Mulists might just be able to work everything down, and Yellow could just, uh, just with a, per a perfect unit switch up, catching Boxer completely off guard, be able to just turn around, able to take that science vessel out, not a lot of Goliaths on the ground. So nice play here by yellow another radiate get it out of there okay able to get it out fairly fairly quickly fairly easily Morgulai is coming up to support. Looks like he was able to empty that 12 o'clock, but there's still a ton of turrets there defending that upper left-hand base and a lot of tanks. And that's, oh, Boxer's got a lot of defense there. So it looks like Yellow, instead of trying to suicide in there, he's just going to start whittling his way around to the tanks. And I don't think these Mulesks are fully upgraded either. So they do not last long against these Goliaths at all. So he needs to get some more, yeah, he's got like 0-0 zero, zero upgrades right there. So he needs to get, yeah, some more units to deal with those Goliaths underneath, sending in some of those uh, nice little vulture running up, planting those mines to limit movement. Oh, okay, is able to take out, oh, still those three siege tanks in the north. Let's see if those mules can take them out uh, while they're in position. Try to open up. It's just like a, it's got kind of that uh, can opener and just kind of doing it. But Boxer somehow snuck a vulture in the bottom right-hand corner while in the midst of all of this, and it looks like he drained, absolutely destroyed every single drone in that bottom right. And I don't even know if Yellow realizes it at this stage. So it looks like he does have some units trying to uh, starting a push in transition right there. It's a beautiful counterattack by Boxer, really to minimize this attack altogether. And that 13 kills on that Vulture. So now Yellow uh, down to two bases. Boxer still, I think, at three because I think he's still mining out of that uh, third. Uh, and yeah, just oh man, really weathering the storm well there. But nice, I gotta say, again a beautiful counterattack from Yellow and too many mines there. Still gonna lose a group of Hydralisks, uh, and those mines have really, really, really paid off. I, and I think oh, a little bit of an ill-advised attack there. Yellow just kind of test where he can, but not finding anything. Seeds Chank still just chilling right there. Let's see. <laughs> Boxer chuckling a little bit. I'm kind of curious if Yellow is going to try to retake that middle expansion because he's in a desperate situation now. I think that's something he actually needs to take. He still is not repopulating that bottom right-hand corner. Maybe he just doesn't see the vulture there and is like, huh, what, what happened to my drones? Let's see if he just moves them in there or not. Um, I guess that's the secret turn. Boxer nuke is just units that you... Excuse me, cannot see. More Scourge running up the field. Looks like they still want to pick those science vessels out. Enough Goliaths to protect. Finally, that, that Vulture being taken out, he was kind of pinned back there. Even if he did want to run out, he had those two something colonies out in the way. So, and there, the, yeah, some more drones starting to move out. Looks like they're, they're probably dust into that bottom right-hand corner. Ugh, really feel bad, though. So, really good, really good fight from Yellow, I have to say. But it looks like Boxer's just going to outmine him in the end. And just have a bigger, badder, more awesome army. Uh, ultimately, he's just going to have, again, the Fist of Steel to press forward against his enemies. A couple Hydralisks uh, running in, still not able to protect against these drone kills. Finally, the rest of the Hydralisks joining him. Uh, and it, it almost looks like Yellow is going to have to grind out. Boxer not making any maneuvers at all. Uh, no indication of aggression. So it looks like he's yeah, just going to wait for Yellow to run out of resources. He's going to make sure he's at full supply. And then he's just going to move his way out. Uh, Yellow still has some Zerglings, still has some Defilers. Might be able to accomplish something with this attack force, but ultimately I don't think it's going to be enough. Uh, just, yeah. Great fight, though. Great defense from Boxer altogether is really what this came down to. Because there's multiple opportunities where Yellow could have turned this game around, especially with that Mutalix harass. But that, again, that Vulture just going to that bottom right -hand corner was huge. Absolutely huge. And just able to distract altogether and just uh, also that turret placement, the upper left. <laughs> just too much, which is, oh, run away. Oh, oh. And off screen, it looks like we had an eraser and continuing to erase. <laughs> Not fun. Uh, finally, some Scourge running up and able to take the science vessels out. But I think that's that's the official GG point right there. Moving, uh, resaturating with the drones. But that's he could not afford that. It's up to Boxer just to move out and finish this whenever he feels like it now at the moment here. Single Overlord wandering up just to get killed. 
going to check it out. He's like, maybe I could drop. No, no, he can't. Uh, so I think he's looking for a good spot to do his final hurrah, his last all-in. But there's really not any spot that he can do it. Uh, and that's one thing that Boxer actually talked about in his autobiography is, is you you cut off the strings of hope one by one, and he really is excellent at doing that. And he's really cut off all the strings of hope uh, for Yellow. As far as a player going for the more extended style and playing safe and making sure that his opponent doesn't have any exits, he's the best at that. He really does not give his opponents a lot of opportunities to come back in games when he's got a lead. And a couple more, the Defiler is getting taken out, and I think this is the last Hydros, Hydralis group we're going to see out in the field, period from yellow just producing all zerglings i think this is i'm still waiting for this last epic clash between the two before we see the gg and it looks like he's gonna get it's all gonna take place in the middle it looks like they're almost pre-arranging it they're like hey you want to have an, a, a nice fun epic engagement in the middle sure siege tanks right there zergling blood uh, getting kind of worked out still some hydralisks in the mix there is a lurker as well but siege tanks plus science vessels plus a lot of goliaths equals bad equals doom right here it looks like uh, trying to plant here where they can but boxer can actually just keep running <laughs> run back forth uh, continue there with the radiates and he's just being frustrating the yellow right now he could just push in and crush this all together but it looks like instead he's like go ahead try to get your drones i'm gonna let you mine out all together otherwise and then i'll decide to crush you as an afterthought i'm gonna wait for you to attack me instead of the other way around so <clears throat> now here comes the big attack a bunch of zerglings running up but still yeah uh, you can see how slow they're taking things out. Fortunately, does get the science vessel down. Still a lot of siege tanks, and uh, with the ridge advantage, is too much. Yellow GGs. Hope you guys enjoyed it. At least it was an excellent match. Very, very good match. Again, thank you for the 10k mark. Continue to donate to Child's Play. Uh, again, I'm going to do the next WCG games depending on popular vote. Thank you for listening. Yeah. 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 Yeah.